Alright, so in this one we are going to be using and finishing up here, uh, Zenkai 7, 14 star, 1400% as we uh, finish it up there. Majin Vegeta, just to uh, show you guys the team we're going to be putting him on. Vegeta Clan, his best peer is obviously here. We do have his plot on him with Z+. Plus. We have Righteous Saiyan, which is going to get double strike attack and special move damage again. He was obviously 14 stars there. Uh, stat spread with the title bonus I do have, which is a lot of them. Not all of them, but uh, a lot of them. At his peak, 298 strike, 285 blast, and defenses are absurdly high. Just to compare to a uh, very tank unit, one of the only tank units in the game alongside him is uh, this Vegeta, and their defenses are very similar. This Vegeta does have a little bit more cut on he does, when he does cover, but Mob Vegeta definitely does uh, have some defenses, has the stats spread for it, even in his base, like he's almost equivalent to that Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So I expect some nice things for him. They didn't add much. They added more than they did for Vegeta Blue. Uh, basically what he got is more sustainability, right? So when he cover changes, he gets health back. When he does arts cards, he's getting health back and lowering his blue card cost. When he does trunks, which we are running the free-to-play trunks, um, he will give uh, debuffs to the entire enemy team, strike damage receive debuffs, and then plus three to strike and blast arts cost 10 timer counts. So he didn't get much added. I really, really, really wish, and this is me obviously pre-using him, this got changed. Nothing changed. Uh, what I'm referring to is this 20% for 20 timer counts, and then 10% damage reduction for five timer counts. I wish it was 15% damage reduction for 10 counts, or 30% damage inflicted for 20 counts. Like something actually just got added to it to where his damage would be a more consistent high if not a consistent high well his tank can be a consistent higher uh spot just because he has high stats right to maybe make his tank a little bit better but unfortunately they uh deemed it not worthy to uh increase right it's unfortunate but it's not the worst thing in the world just to see where we did end up with pvp last season obviously the last video was the last match i did do br70 i didn't move at all oh my god i think i was like near the same exact rank last season all right I believe this is actually triple RP season, which is a uh, double, no, double RP, three week season. Pain, pain. Uh, we do have a free to play cell. Let me just see if he's actually here. I was told he's not actually uh, in game yet. Yeah, he's not in game yet. All right, well, we have free to play cell, assumably coming next week, probably with a Zenkai, then free to play cell. Maybe it'll be like Heat Dome Trunks Zenkai to go with this Vegeta, since we don't have really a new Trunks that's come out recently. Heat Dome Cell, or Heat, Heat Dome Trunks Zenkai. Cell kind of flows together with the uh, Cell Sawgast theme. But with that being said, let us see how LF Mouse Jita, 1400%, 14 stars, Senkai 7 can do. First match up against MUI, or no, MUI, uh, Vegito slapped on seemingly of. Uh, I did not catch you there. That's unfortunate. Oh, you just went. Okay. Uh, slapped on God Key with Vegito here. Okay. I also do have, obviously, Vegeta sleeves. You can't, I assume, can't buy his uh, actual sleeves, right? Debuff will hurt us here. Green and blue card first hand. That's unfortunate, but we heal 40% on transformation to get uh, buffed up from where it was at prior to. Also, that battle damage looks very clean on Vegeta there, just to say. Oh, my, that's a lot of damage to uh, this Vegeta. Okay. Defense type, by the way. So, pretty good there. Again. From 30% to 40% on his transformation state, uh, that's where it's at now. Sure! Go to your red unit. I don't mind. I get a PV and you lose him, so... Well, I can't PV you if you don't attack or do anything. That is that is real. Now, unfortunately, counters don't activate his uh, build-up. It's really unfortunate, actually. Because if they did, we'd be in a much better spot. Sure, why not? Again, counters don't activate it. It's sad. Now we are gaming. We are real gamers here. Let's just do this. I'll do one more, then I'll pop the ultimate. Hopefully, he can't swap yet. My bestie, MUI. At least Majin Gita exists to one shot the shit out of him if we can't get it going. Yeah, I was gonna PV fish when you're using this guy, because why the fuck wouldn't I? I mean, reality, you're just gonna instantly swap every time, huh? Okay. Tap out. Pop this. It's not a long animation. Oh, I caught you. Okay. Uh, you're gonna swap here. Didn't swap there? Why? I still have cover null. So it's whatever. Damn, that blasted. <laughs> Very much less than I wanted. Let's throw his blue card. Obviously, I could just rush there and kill out, but curiosity. It's 100% more. Okay. 
Not the worst. Not, not bad damage there at all, actually. Still have cover null. Didn't even try to swap though. Trunks should be able to kill out here. Nice, nice. We'll pop Trunks' as main, get a full hand. It's gonna blast, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, awesome. Love you, love you. Trunks is literally only here to fulfill the unique, so I, I do not, like, give a singular shit about him actually doing anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. All right, we'll get some build up and then go back into Majin Cheetah. Again, key back on entry, something he got on his Zenkai. Pretty solid damage there, even to a green unit. Not bad at all. Good stuff, Majin Cheetah, first match. Did not get to one-shot the MUI, unfortunately, but uh, we'll get there. That is the plan. Honestly, the big plan is to triple Zenkai buff him. Probably next video. And there, Oko a Dragon Fist. Like a 14-star Dragon Fist, 14-star Majin Cheetah. One-shot him from a blue card. I think it's possible. I really do. Triple blue card equips. We have that here. That's his main thing. His blue card is meant to like nuke the shit out of you. I feel like it's possible, but we'll see that next video. This one, not too bad. First match, pretty solid damage. Super Saiyans. All right. Well, MV's free. If MV's free, I'm happy. That is all blast. Not ideal, is it? Well, maybe we can uh, fort. How do we both have all blast, Chief? What are we doing? It's a lot of build-up, obviously, because we were just doing a lot of cards. Let's see this. Untransformed, we go through cut on it. I don't know how much cut penetration we actually do have on this untransformed one, but let's see some. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Okay, let's try to win. Again, them just doing arts gets his build-up against him. It has to be against him, but them doing arts gets his build-up. It's not they have to land the arts. It's them do Dude, that's good strike damage there. Like, reality-wise, that, that's good strike damage there for untransformed. Like, <laughs> not gonna lie on him, that, that's good strike damage. Dropping on purpose, I feel like you're gonna swap. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, that worked. I had to cancel, because obviously he could have swapped to uh, Gogeta. Let him die. Alright. It's pretty solid, though. He's doing pretty solid work. Uh, no, we need to rush here. You have endurance. Let's pop this. Cool, caught you out, we'll pop the Endurance, if nothing else, and then go to Gogeta, go wherever you want. I personally don't care. I actually think I can run down your neutral timer here. 10 counts or 5 counts? I think it's 5 counts of neutral. If I could run it down, do we even need to run it down? Oh my god. No, well, let's just throw it. Fuck it, he still has the neutral, he can see it up there, that shield up there, but uh... Does this kill? I'd be impressed if this actually does kill. Jesus Christ, he was neutral as well. Oh, that sucks. Let's see Majin Cheetah get some build up. See him tank. Very high defense stats. Very high transform defense stats and pre transformation. And he's building up cut. Expected. Trunks does give death buffs, so this will help us, but. Expected there, even though you haven't done much. Guess you? Unfortunate. Um, We have some cut build up. Again, that's. What, 5 counts? Of 10%. And then we have a lot of damage inflicted build up, so. Pop main. Oh, he didn't pop main! That's interesting. Alright. I, I want to see the tanking. I'm down to see tanking. I'm, I'm here for it. Would I live this? I'm not going to test it. I feel like he would have died there. Maybe I'm giving a little bit too little credit. But I don't want to lose my showcase unit as well. So, safety first. I think we would have died there. Yeah. All right. yeah, I'm pretty confident that we would have died there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Because he took that much, and this guy is cover cut as well. So it's like, god damn, that was going to be a lot of damage. It's very unfortunate we can't draw the cards we actually want here. Because what I wanted was a uh, strike, not some blues. Ella? Ooh, don't leave me, 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 don't leave me. That's doing so much damage because it's off main as well. That probably did like 5 million in actuality. I'm not even joking with that. Got the LF though. He's in his pre, the fact that he's hitting hard in pre is genuinely impressing the shit out of me. Now, a reminder, he is Zenkai left here by Namek. I don't usually do that, but Namek is such a broad and very good bench. I feel like everyone knows this. He's such a broad and very good bench unit in double attack. There's no reason to not run him as a bench. So every time you run Majin Vita, you're going to run Namek. It, it's just the commonality of it because his teams and what he's on and what he's buffing and his Z ability, his Zenkai ability. You're always going to run Namek. Just a reminder of that. He is double Zenkai buff, but his base is doing numbers more than I expected. Like, his base is hitting almost as good as his transformed, which is not anticipated at all. 
Um, double Ultras with MUI. Okay. Again, MUI, I love to see MUIs. I like to slap the shit out of them with Miles Vegeta if we could. So, let's go for that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, so much damage there, dude. All right, let's go to Majin, obviously. Got some build up as well. Sure, take that. Uh, you're probably gonna swap to Vegito, so just go for the boss anyways. Obviously the blast will do a lot less. And when he transforms, you get strike damage inflicted, 30%. The healing arts there, that's whatever. Let's just throw it. to transform here before we do swap out. And now we'll go to Trunks, because we have no vanish. 3.4 million HP, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pretty decent, actually. Okay. Single tap. Nice. Is MUI coming? I, I feel like it's an MUI kind of swap here. That's not MUI. No, no, that's that's a dead Ultra Gogeta. Why? Why did you do that? Why? Why'd you risk him? I don't agree with the play. Okay, I'm gonna go for a strike here. I feel like you're tackling. Or nothing. Or not. I knew I didn't have my main, so I wasn't gonna click main. Damn, that counter did nothing. No shit, right? That's like damn. If I had my blue card, I wonder how much I would have done. I did 1.2 million on a strike right there. 1.2 million on a strike right there. I didn't catch you. That's near perfect timing, but I didn't catch. We know if I endurance three counts. I'm popping the blue, by the way, if you're wondering why I did that. I want to catch him. If I don't catch him, I have nullify endurance. Fuck it, we'll take it. Don't get guessed there. Should nullify endurance. It's three counts after popping the blue card, similar to ultimate. Just he doesn't have an ultimate. He has a blue card as an LF. Pop. Gaming. Pretty solid. Pretty damn solid. Um, again, season reset. Not the highest stars they were up against, but pretty solid in a foundation sense of he's taking hits well, he's doing damage well. It's all I can really ask for. A smash up against Future with Ultra Vegito. Cool. I'll play for us, don't mind me. I guess uh, that's what we're doing here. Sure, I'm down. And I'll go for this green card. I feel like you're going to swap, so I'll get you minus card draw speed on somebody. I'll take it on Vegito. Even though he can, he's probably the only auto-spawner of cards. And he's immune. God damn it, Vegito. Oh, we did attack. Nice. This should do pretty decent. Bro, that's a lot. That hit... Oh my god. Am I gassing him? That hit hard as shit. Look at his HP. <laughs> Pre-transformed unit did... Fucking, what was that? Two million? It's pre transformation. The fuck? Okay, sure. It's a lot of fucking damage, man. God damn. I'm proud of him for it. Look at Trunks popping off, by the way. A little, a little, a little pop off here for Trunks. Happy for him as well. I'm gonna side step here. Shocks. Uh, you have no covers, so you can go wherever the hell you want. I popped this Endurance, you are getting killed. Okay. Vegito is now down. I don't think that was the play. That's the last match, so. <laughs> wow, we did it. Bro, that was a lot. That blue card did a lot. I'm not sure the stars ended up Vegito, it's whatever. Obviously, you guys can check it for yourselves, but uh, that, that blue card, that was pre-transformation. What's his cut pen on the blue card in pre? I feel like it's not the same thing as his post. I think his post has 100%. His pre has, I would assume, it's like 30 to 50% on this blue card here. It's 40. It went up from 30 to 40. I remember that as well. Uh, that changed as well for his uh, thing. Then in his post, he has 100? Yeah, he has a, that hits a lot harder. Obviously, 100% cut pen means all that cut's being penetrated. 40 means 4% of their cut's being penetrated. To do that much, was there even any buildup? He hadn't done any cards, right? Vegeta... I did one blast into a strike, so I had 20% support from Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And I had no buildup on Naj and Vegeta there at all. No, I had one, because he had a strike with Vegeta Blue, right? Yeah, right there prior to me hitting him. So I had about 40% damage afflicted from his one unique, and then support. And then the rest was just stats and the cut pen, in reality, of obviously more uniques, but... Oh, that was pretty damn solid damage. I'll take that. Lonely Eyes think of LF Majigita Zenkai. Seems pretty solid already. Not sure where I'd uh, figure him because it is literally just four matches deep. But Lonely Eyes think. See you guys in the next one where he's going to be triple Zenkai buffs just to uh, show out the team if I do find it quick enough.
Triple Zenkai buff, similar-esque setup. Uh, I feel like the setup with, obviously, Ultra Super Vegeta will be very nice because that just supplies uh, ample amount of debuffs, more than Trunks could because that's just 15%. Vegeta is just a stack, you know, stall enemies. But I want to see him on this setup with some death buffs, with some support, just like this team was. But let me know what you guys think of him on the generic setup, and I'll see you guys in the next one.